एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वी आर इन डे ट्वेंटी फाइव मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सो वी विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट इज प्रोडक्शन ऑर्डर बी ओ एम एंड रूटिंग सो वी प्रोसीड आई डिलेक्ट टू टेल यू दैट दीज आर द ई बुक रिसोर्सेज विच आई हैव प्रिपेयर फॉर द बिजनेस सेंट्रल कम्युनिटी एंड ऑल्सो फॉर आई बी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर पावर एप्स पावर बी एंड एवरीथिंग ओके सो हियर यू कैन फाइंड दैट यू हैव वेरियस ई बुक्स रेफरेंसेज दीज आर द ई बुक्स ओके ए एल मास्ट्री इन थ्री वीक्स विच आई हैव कवर्ड द कम्प्लीट इंस्ट्रक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट ए एल मास्ट्री दैट इज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द ट्वेंटी वन डेज ए एल प्रोग्रामिंग चैलेंज एंड दिस इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट मास्टरिंग बिजनेस सेंट्रल फंक्शनल कंसल्टेंट दिस इज अ क्यू एन ए दैट इज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स फॉर बिटवीन बिगनर्स टू intermediate level that is 2 to 5 years so 0 to 5 years that is beginners to 2 uh, to to 5 years so this is for functional consultant and this is for the al programming okay this this 100 plus nearly i think it will be 120 plus questions which will cover the entire al programming this is the interview question and answers for al programming which is based on this particular book okay and this is a um, interview question and answers for business central developers so this is a part 1 which i have uh, um, curated for the freshers okay so part 2 will be for the intermediate level and part 3 will be for the advanced level i'll be i am creating that so please stay tuned and this is for the 21 20 must have checklist for the functional consultants what are the checklist you should have whatever i am covering uh, in the video okay so this book will be uh, provided a uh, for free for the members who are there with me uh, from the day 1 towards the day 41 and uh, they ha- they should be interacting with me often with the exercises and everything okay so they will be getting this 21 20 checklist and if you are not a member but you want to get the checklist you can buy it from here okay so this is the complete ebook uh, ebook uh, content let like us ebook collection i'll be updating this uh, every month okay and if you have any queries if you want to connect with me you can connect with me through this particular uh, top med account so here you can connect and uh, um, uh, connect, uh, like if you have any queries if you want any specific uh, uh, doubts you want to deal with if you want, if you are a fresher in business central if you want to mo- know more about it then you can definitely schedule a call with me okay anything so what all these things all these links i have given in the description so you can find these uh, things in the description so this is a schedule a call with me business central ebooks that is ebook resources so here you can find it so please don't forget to watch this okay and uh, uh, this is the 41 days channel uh, that is a 41 days functional consultants boot camp playlist you can check here so the tutorial can be viewed by everyone but the exercises and solutions are only available for the members okay so i'll be connect uh, i'll like you can just continue with the today's topic i will tell you more about each and every uh, every book like what is this is book i'll just release a separate video for every book individually um so if you have missed the previous videos please go and watch it in the playlist and um, you can also create a free uh, account for uh, business central to try business central here so i want uh, you all to try and see like how these things are working okay so microsoft dynamics 365 business central um is an enterprise erp system we all know that so production orders in bc are a key components of its manufacturing module so they are used to manage and track the production of goods within a company so creating a production order can be created manually or generated automatically based on the sales order or a material requirements planning that is mrp so we have types of production orders okay so like several types like production orders such as standard planned firm planned production order released production orders so each type represents a different stage in the production planning and control process so production orders include details about the components that is raw materials and sub assemblies required and the routing steps like sequence of operation need to produce the item Business Central helps in scheduling production orders and in planning the capacity of machines and work centers. The system allows uh, for tracking the progress of production orders and provide tools for analyzing production costs. 
Production orders are integrated with other modules like inventory management, purchasing and financing, ensuring seamless workflow of uh, information across the business because it's an ERP that is everything are integrated. Okay, and Business Central allows customization and extension to adapt to the production order process to specific business needs. So that is what the overview of the production order. Okay, so apart from this, a production order are used to manage the conversion of purchased material into a manufactured item. Production orders will route work through various work or mission centers on the shop floor. So before proceeding with the productions, most companies perform supply planning, typically once a week, to calculate how many production orders and purchase orders to execute to fulfill the week sales demand. Production orders supply the components that are required according to the production BOM to produce the end items. So, uh, if you want to talk about production order creation, which can be created on an order by order basis manually from the production order page, as I told, or as we can also generate from the sales order planning or order planning pages. So, if you go and check for uh, this, um, you can just select here and if you can type for the sales okay so here you can see you have uh, various things that the sales orders so you can whenever you create you know like even here you can create a production order multiple orders are created from the planning worksheet page as well so production orders are created using anything like you can create it using item production bom routings mission centers and work centers so what are the limited limitations of a production order creation is what Production orders are automatically reserved and tracked to their resources when created from the planning worksheet. If you are creating it from the planning worksheet, then the production order orders will be automatically created. Okay, so that is the uh, that is the uh, thing here. So if you just go on check for planning so here you can see planning worksheet so whenever you're creating a planning worksheet here the production order will be automatically uh, created and also uh, the production orders um, uh, are created uh, whenever Uh, whenever you create a sales order planning and it also creates whenever you create an order planning and also it will create when you use a replan function on a production order so this is the thing the production order status controls how the production order behaves within the application so already we have discussed about sales order invoice and everything there you can find it here i just wanted to tell you like interaction what is a production order and what are the planned production order firm planned production order released production order and the finished production orders so production order executions uh, will be like uh, during execution of the order you have to record materials picked or consumed how much time was spent during uh, spent working on the order and quantity of the parent item produced so all these things are important whenever you create a production order so um so production order like simulated production order a uh, production order is a unique which is based on um as it uh, like uh, it is a simulation and its main purpose is to coating and costing okay whereas planned production order is what um, um you can automatically create a planned production order from a sales order itself and planned production order are like a released productions order and provide input to capacity requirements planning by showing the total capacity requirement by work center or mission center whereas the firm plan production order is what orders acts as a placeholder in the planning schedule for some future job released uh, to the floors and uh, released production uh, order release production order is when a production order has been released it does not necessarily mean that the materials have been picked or the job has physically moved to the first operation so finally the finished production order is an important task in completing and co the costing life cycle of the item that is being produced so by finishing the production order costing can be adjusted and reconciled so there are various uh, important things which uh, should be considered whenever we are creating a production orders and manufacturing uh, being an important thing okay important uh, um, thing in any uh, business central any erp so um that's all about the today's video so whenever you create it you can find production order here 
um so tomorrow uh, like day 28 we'll be discussing about the power apps in business central how to create a power app how to build a basic customization of the power app and uh, create a financial details app in a power app i'll just show you the demo detailing thank you take care bye bye